Hey guys, welcome back again to another Tech Guru video. We are in Adobe Photoshop today and I'm going to give you a brief tutorial on how to customize your Photoshop interface. And what I mean by your interface is this that you see here, your workspace, all of your toolbars, uh, the color of the background and whatever it may be, you can actually go into Photoshop and you can actually adjust your settings to your liking. Uh, I've had a few questions on how to do this and I thought I would throw out a quick video tutorial on how to change your user interface. So the first thing you need to do is go up to where it says Photoshop in the top left hand corner or if you're on a Windows wherever it may be you can go to Photoshop and then go to preferences. Under preferences you will see something that says interface. Click on interface. Once you are there, the preferences for your interface will open up and you will see a few different options in which you can choose from. So right here it says standard screen mode. The color is gray. You can change that to be black, uh, which you see here. The background will be black, so if you prefer it to be black, you can change that. I'm going to change it back to gray. And then full screen with menus, you can change that to black as well. So if you change over to full screen, the background will then turn uh, black. And also you see another option here you can actually go and select a custom color so if I want it to be a light blue color I can just click OK and now the background for all of my Photoshop work will be that blue color I'm gonna change it back to gray there now the border can either have the, a line or a drop shadow. What that means is just the interface here, whether it has a drop shadow or a straight line. Uh, down here you can see show channels in color, show menu colors, so what that means is just show the menus in color, uh, show tooltips, uh, enable gestures, so all of this I would leave that the same. I really wouldn't mess with that too much. You can change the color up here as I said. Uh, your panels and documents auto collapse iconic panels so uh, whenever you have icons or panels come up it will auto collapse them if you you know no longer need those uh, auto show hidden panels uh, that's kind of one of those things to where it will auto show panels that you don't have active at the moment so yeah, I would leave that checked as well open documents as tabs if you do not want that and want them to open up as separate documents that you can move around you can uncheck that enable floating document window docking if you don't want to uh, be able to move your uh, documents around and kind of you know drag and drop your different tabs you can you know ch click that now if you've messed everything up and you've come in here and changed some of this stuff and you need to set it back the way it was you can click on the restore default workspaces and it'll take everything back to the same if you need an English or, I'm sorry if you need a language other than English you can click on this right here it shows you the UI language for this is English and the UI font size is small medium or large you can actually go in and change the size of the font uh, for your user interface so if your eyes are bad you can change that and change it to medium I'm going to leave mine at small also you can go in here and play around with some of the other stuff within the settings this is primarily for your interface uh, if you want to go in and deal with some file handling stuff the performance the cursor uh, transparency units and rulers grids and whatnot you can do all of that within here on this left toolbar here so that is how you go in to change your preferences for your user interface within Photoshop again you just go up to Photoshop or if you're on a Windows it might be file preferences so go to Photoshop and then go to preferences and then go to interface once you're there you'll be able to change all the stuff here and you'll be good to go this works for you know all of the versions of Photoshop CS3, 4, 5, and 6 uh, just go in there and I believe CS6 has even more advanced features that you can do with your UI but that's it for right now on the user interface in Photoshop if you have a question about this tutorial put it in the comment box below this video if this video helped you out help me out and click on the thumbs up button and like this video don't forget to subscribe for more great content like this and guys thank you as always for watching my videos and I will see you guys next time